In this update, we will have features for prepaid insurance that were not available previously. In the company setup checklist, accounting screen, there's an edit button in the upper right hand corner. This is only for customers that are on an accrual basis. If you're on an accrual basis, we will have these options where we can track insurance prepayments in a separate prepaid liabilities account. By default, that is not checked. If you check that option and go into the accounts receivable report, if someone is prepaid in insurance, their balance will be zero in terms of the insurance charge. Previously, if someone had an insurance, for example, their policy was for $8, and they were prepaid, you would see an ending balance of minus 8 for that particular insurance policy and that person. We'll have a new column. In the past, we had prepayments for rent. Now we have prepayment applied for both rent and insurance. With both options checked, in the accounting screen to have a separate account for prepaid rent and insurance you will no longer have a negative balance for either of those two accounts. In addition to that we are going to have a new report. That report is found in the report screen under prepaid insurance. That prepaid insurance report can help you drill down on a person by person basis in terms of the outstanding liability that you have along with refunds and insurance that were prepaid for the month. There are two new accounts in the accounting screen under the setup checklist accounting. Those two new accounts are prepaid insurance liabilities and insurance refund dismissed. These accounts are only going to be available and used if you are on an accrual basis and if you have the option in the upper right hand corner edit button to track insurance prepayments in a separate prepaid liabilities account.